<laughs> Welcome to a new episode of D20 Fear. <laughs> so on this episode, first up, we have some uh, we have some cool news. Our Patreon has been updated. If Woo! you are a Patreon, uh, if you're one of our patrons already, thank you again for your sponsorship. And go check it out because we got some new rewards, including some pretty cool things. One of which uh, is an online session um, that I will run every uh, every couple months. A one shot oh. cannon to the world of Bellarath, where we play our uh, our weekly campaign here. Uh, with several of our patrons at a certain tier level, you can jump into a game and play a one-shot where you might even run into some of the cast. Uh, but I think my favorite thing that we added is a treasure chest that you get to design. Uh, and there are several levels of it. It's so Almost cool. every patron tier includes a treasure chest of your own design with a different level of magic item, a different level of uh, gold and jewels, maybe scrolls, consumables, and, and you can design your own treasure chest and submit it. And assuming we have one, I'll select one basically on, on a regular basis to put into the game that our heroes can get. So you could give them really good items. You could give them just random worthless stuff that you want to see how they use. It could be fun. Uh, or, you know, if one of you guys wants to become a patron, just to throw out... <laughs> yeah, because I want legendary items for my right. characters. Okay, that's like... So here's, here's a that's question. That's like metagaming right? on a <laughs> couple Here's a question levels. I just now thought okay. of. Could they also do bad, tra like, with cursed items? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. The cool, only stipulation is, is each <laughs> tier that. that they uh, pledge that. at allows them to unlock a new rarity of item. There's even one tier that allows you to design your own legacy item that will level up with the characters. So if that's something that's interesting to you, if that's something you want to see, see that's part of your life. creation uh, in the uh, in the game, in this world, absolutely uh, go sponsor us on Patreon. We, we really uh, appreciate all our sponsors, and there's a lot of fun stuff. If you're already a patron again, go check it out, because you might have new stuff at your pledge tier that you didn't know about yet. Uh, beyond that, uh, did we want to talk about the other thing that came in today, or are we saving that? Oh, oh, yeah. We can do that. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot as well. Right. Oh, wow. Well, uh, our sponsor, Dice Dungeons, has sent us... We're doing the... Is it one big giveaway, right? Yeah. Dice Dungeons. Our sponsor, Dice Dungeons, has sent us uh, some goods to give away to you guys. Now, this time, what we have for you is a DM starter kit. Uh, although, that said, it's great for experienced DMs, right. too. Here you go. It includes a battle mat. Well, you showed that. It is a, uh, a map of this encampment with a river next to it. Great starting point for a campaign. Great just any time you're on the road and your players make camp and you need to set up a quick encounter when they're ambushed at night. Man, that's a great one for it. It's real convenient. Uh, right. We have a single set of metal dice and are they the Darkwood Azure? I don't know. They're the what, green what ones. With the yellow? Those yeah. are the Darkwood Azure. Darkwood Azure. Azure. Have them right yeah, there. it's their uh, their Darkwood Azure metal dice. Uh, that's in that set. In this in this one big giveaway. Nick got a set and set. several sets of plastic dice. Polyamory. The polyamory. polymer. Isn't polymer type plastic? Yes. Not polyamory. Well, polyamory, polyamory is a different, that's yeah. a different thing. <laughs> so we got polyamory this really dice. cool <laughs> um, sparkly red one. Sparkly green one. Very sweet. Ooh. I love these opalescent yellow ones. Those Ooh. are pretty cool. And then, then these are some. like marbled pink and black. He tried. Yeah. All right, cool. And how many total sets are there? It is uh, four plastic. Uh, all of them come with a cool dice bag. Ooh. And then the one metal set. Yeah, so it's really cool. So your DM could keep the the metal and then give out to his players all of these uh, uh, polymer ones. Yeah, this is especially great for any DMs who like to run at conventions and often have a lot of new players sit down at their table. Uh, so, if you're interested in winning that, Haley, tell them how they win. Uh, well, <laughs> they win. Uh, are we doing Twitter this time or Facebook? Let's do Facebook this time. All right, this time we're going to do Facebook. Decisions on the fly. So all of those yeah. who are already this. following our Facebook Instagram page, and Twitter, so you're already halfway Facebook. there, uh, we're going to make a post uh, probably tomorrow uh, with pictures of everything that will say, like, giveaway, and it will tell you to like the post with the pictures in it, share the post with the pictures in it, and follow our page. If you do all of that, you'll be entered into the raffle, and we'll uh, randomly pick one of the winners, and we'll post about it and talk about it. Do we want to do it the Wednesday right after Feb uh, Valentine's Day? That was almost like a Valentine's Day gift? Sure. Well, let's... That's only in two weeks, right? But yeah, two weeks is the intention, so oh, that, okay. that works out. Yes, uh -huh. in fact, it is Valentine's Day. Boom! So, in two weeks, on the 14th, that's when you can win these dice and this map. Thanks. 
<laughs> Nick, you don't. They're mine. Nick, not yours. They're mine now. All, All right. right. Well, well, we've uh, we've spent enough time, I think, talking about our new uh, our, our new cool stuff that we have on offer. So uh, let's play some D and D. Yeah, Greg. Yeah. All right. So it's kind of a two part. When last we left our heroes, because when last when last we left our primary party, uh, Thaddeus, Osborne, and Barthoon had ridden. Uh, with with all speed and no respite to the aid of Esteem and Boss UI uh, and the defense of the Hill Tribe encampment against an incursion of orcs, and the incursion did indeed occur. Uh, there were waves upon waves of orcish troops. Upon along waves. With, along with ogres and troll support, and quickly uh, the heroes were, were fairly outmatched. Um, Osborne gave his life... Uh, in a final desperate attempt, he, he became a tree for the last time and uh, just annihilated the tree Died. that he was fighting. Um, Thaddeus <laughs> fell in single combat with um, which of the Akars? Garkul. Garkul Akar, yeah. Akar, the chieftain. Uh, the same one who had taken Aberdevi and, and died pretty much as Paladin Nullius, Knight Paladin Nullius and his crusade swept in. They were able to deal with the remnant of the orcs, but the two had, uh, had breathed their last. Esteem during the course of the battle, chose to uh, give in to the fiend within, so perhaps it was ordained that Thaddeus would not survive to have harsh <laughs> words with him. <laughs> uh, Boss was mostly just very scary. She was very spooky. So was scary. Scary. She, was very she was quite spooky. Uh, so, and that's kind of where we, where we left things there. When last we left the orcish party, it was quite a while ago, uh, the, uh, the Akar clan had just... Uh, Taken in Krovul, what is it? Is that right? No, Krothu clan. Krothu clan. Uh, they had assimilated a smaller clan under its banner, the banner of a car. Uh, this is taking place some amount of time, we don't know how long, prior to our primary campaign. Um, and so there were some games to kind of celebrate the new additions to the tribe. And that night, uh, there was a theft. Uh, a cartouche had been stolen of the clan Krothu that was, that was quite important to the, uh, to the Akars. And uh, one of the shaman of a car cast the bones to see who would be sent off in pursuit. And it turns out it was, in fact, this disparate group of heroes, disparate and desperate. Uh, red, eye, uh, red Eyes, I'm not going to remember you. Grogburner. Grogburner, the Hellhawk, Beastmaster, and the Manbreaker. Uh, they all have first names, but I don't remember those. So <laughs> the, those are more descriptive. Uh, they were sent off in pursuit, and after a tremendous amount of. Uh, of an ordeal, including falling off a bridge and being impaled with spears and fighting a giant trap spider. Uh, there was a lot of uh, kerfuffle. But we did, in fact, uh, encounter the thief and were able to bring him down. Um, he was uh, Garkul, no, Garuk. Garesh. Garesh. Garesh Bukhar, uh, a member of a, a rival orc clan who took exception to the way that a car was. Uh, trying to, to militarize the orcs, trying to soften them, to civilize them. Uh, we were able to, to deal with, with Goresh and uh, took from him the cartouche and his magical cloak, which uh, the Hellhawk claimed for his own, rightly so. He did a lot of the work. Uh, and I guess that's kind of... We fought through a horde of zombies uh, and befriended some ogres and then quickly left before the ogres could turn their new friends into lunch. Hmm. And I believe that catches us up. And now I'm assuming it's been a bit of time. I believe yeah. that does. And so we leave now our regular adventuring party to rejoin the orcs. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> the long march is over. Behind you lies waste and ruin. Ahead, the future and the past. Morchamang, the city of the ancients, where the secrets of the great orc empire of old lie buried. Here, your people shall make their destiny. Armed with the cartouche, you now know the secrets to opening the great temple of Morchamang. But the city is out of sight yet. It should be just over the hill, and yet colored banners fly overhead to signal a full stop of the Akar column. Hmm. Something's wrong. Who is, who is leading the Akar clan currently? Uh, Calder. Calder. Okay. How old? The Calder's quite old at this point. Then. Does my cloak give me misty stuff? Fairly. He's, uh, yeah, he's a decent old door. guy. He's probably in his early 50s. Oh, I thought he was a little older. Well, because he's, he's the younger brother of Jal. 
Oh, oh, we have oh, Zonak. 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 Okay, yeah. Calder is Joel's dad. dad. He's, he's <laughs> very <laughs> old. Uh, it's Zonak, yeah. Okay. Just a little confused there. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Cognitive dissonance with the lore. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, so it's Zonak, Joel's younger brother. Right. And where are we? Where are you? You're in the column. Okay. Them. We're uh, walking. We don't, have, we don't have a celebrated position for our returning Cur- Currently, you're just in the column. All right. But, uh, yeah, it's marching. coming to a stop. And it shouldn't be, because you're not there yet. And what is it that we're, th- we're looking for? The, we're the city of Borchamon. Mm-hmm. Can you see anything up there, big guy? The city is very small. Mm. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. I thought I'd ask. Uh, I guess I'll start pushing my way through the other orcs to get to the front to see what's happening, since I am short. All right, as you start heading that way, uh, another orc approaches you and says, Hellhawk. Yes. Turning, you see it's a Garkul the car. Oh, I'm straight to a knee. All right. And yeah, Garkul is blood spear to Zonak. Yeah. He is his right hand man. And he approaches. This is the one we killed. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, this, this is the one, one we killed. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. He, he killed did, he him. Did die. Yeah. We're, we're, if you're not caught up, we're actually back in time currently. Well, right. That's right. Yeah, Garkul was, in fact, killed by Nellius with his crusade at the, at the end of things there. Um, Sorry. And he says, head back to your friends. We'll have business with you soon. I'll send it on Scar. For now, we don't want anyone heading up to the front. Put my cloak over my head, turn around, and move back. All right. Move right. back. Learn anything new? Well, okay. All right. Night falls, and soon, uh, food is brought around. Thank God. A little bit of meat, mostly. Uh, a few small fungi that are cooked into a stew. Mm. Uh, and soon... <laughs> it's very fun. You're growing weary. And it seems as though uh, the rest of the column is heading down to bed. No one really quite knows what's going on. I'm going to keep watch. Okay. In the shadows. I am not even remotely worried about it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> The next morning comes. <laughs> the column wakes up and immediately uh, Garkul starts walking through the column, uh, sharp as the sun rises. I was doing the thing. Stand up, brothers! Stand up! Get to your drills. Start fighting, brawling, sparring. Can't let your training lapse. Just another day. As any other day, marching in the column, since you left the home of Clan Crothu. Of course, of course, of course, of course. The entire column immediately sets to drilling. Some of you practice archery or swordsmanship, others simply wrestling. Some practice battlefield support maneuvers, uh, simply speed and and passing messages at at faster and faster speeds. Some uh, are instructed in the ways of colored banners in order to instruct various tactics that the enemy won't know about. I'm instructing. Hmm. All right. I'm All right. instructing archery. Yeah. I'm learning the use of my new weapon that I got from someone who tried to gut me with it. Yeah. It's the, uh, the javelin that's lashed oh, to with my arm. Awesome. All right. Um, it's my new Kensei. I'm so petting good. my friend, my beast friend. Okay. We're, just, we're your, your cuddling. Friend. All right. Cuddling. Yeah, it's a bat, right? Yeah. Giant bat. I'm one of those that's wrestling other people. All right. Yeah. And I'm drilling then. Yeah. But I would... Gladly fight either of them in whatever their contest is. That seems like fun. Despite Garkul's words, no one comes to fetch you. Hmm. No more information is learned. The rest of the day passes, and night falls. Um, I feel like I'm kind of the leader of this group, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna move I towards. Experience. Yeah, I'm gonna move. I'm usually in front. <laughs> I'm gonna go towards. Uh, what's his face's. Tent. Garkul's? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> hey, what's his face? Does he have guards? No. Oh, perfect. Um, I... <clears throat> outside is a lot of tent. Uh, you hear some shuffling within, and he comes up and pulls aside uh, the uh, the tent flap, and he says, Hellhawk. Um, my men are a little worried of why we're just sitting here. 
All in due time. We can't go rushing in like the old days. These days, we need to be smarter than that. I agree. Do you need any scouting done? It's handled. And he puts the flat back. I'm a little <laughs> pissed about that. Because <laughs> I'm like the Akar's true scout. Um, They're letting the young kids. I'm going to storm off from that. All right. I, I ain't a fan <laughs> of that. All right. <clears throat> He's scouting. <laughs> 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 the next morning, the camp is restless. But again, Garkul goes through the lines, encouraging everyone to get back to their drills, ensuring that everyone's working to better themselves at something. Some, again, are working on combat. Some learning horseback and lizard riding. Oh, cool. Some learning to work with uh, work with ogres. Some even learning reading, writing, arithmetic. The skills that they'll need if they're to have a real civilization set up. I'm probably not doing that. <laughs> no? <laughs> Again, no? Though, not you? The day passes and night falls. As the moon sits high in the sky, a young unscarred enters your portion of the camp. <clears throat> We're back for me. Honored warriors. No. Die not today. Not today, no. Uh, he looks over at you and he says, uh, You have been summoned by Perfect. the High Chief and Clan Father. Um, I immediately turn to Manbreaker oh. <laughs> and say, Best behavior. What? Always. Um, I'm going to wave my party on. We're going to follow this individual. Right. You're led by a young unscarred through the column as the army stops to make camp to the High Chief's yurt, where he awaits with Grand Chief Garkul Akar. Zonag looks up and holds his arms wide in greeting. Quark Tom, my sons. I am honored by your presence. I'm just going to warn you, I'm moving forward to give him a hug. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to grab him by his shirt. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Pull him back. Because I just walked forward. <laughs> Uh, Zonag Good laughs. to see you, friend. And he says, uh, I wish to congratulate you once more on your victory over Goresh Bukar, who betrayed us. Of course. And thank you for recovering the cartouche. He gestures to a table where you can see it's resting mm-hmm. on the table there. And he says, It is because of this victory that I enlist your services once more. Big, huge grin comes over my face. We did good job. <laughs> what can yes, we do for you? You did. And in our new kingdom, those who do well are rewarded greatly, and those who betray us rewarded in kind. Ah, uh, he says, uh, Garku has a mission for you. If you do this. You will truly be honored warriors of a car. As if I'm not already? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not already. <laughs> um, Garkul steps forward and he unrolls uh, a map that mm-hmm. looks like it's of Mort Shaman. And then he starts setting on it small little wooden cubes all around. Gelatinous? I <laughs> know. <laughs> 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 He says, uh, he says, Our enemies, it seems, have already beaten us here. We're fighting boxers? No. I'm going to pat him on the head, and I'm going <laughs> 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 I just flop down onto the floor. I'm still probably eye level on the <laughs> table. And what enemies do? When, and what enemies think that they can defeat the Akar? The Zonad clenches his fist around the spear. Oh. Bukar. <laughs> Vorka Bukar. Clan mother. Ah, a woman, huh? It should be easy. Garkul laughs and he says, You've not met Vorka Akar. Yeah, I'm a little offended. She's Probably. But then again, <laughs> Hellhawk's wife was a bad A. Yeah, she was oh, we, we totally killed her. Powerful. Yeah, we killed her. Not yet. Um, <laughs> so, he says, uh, he says, they don't have the cartouche. 
but they're trying to unearth the city nonetheless. They don't know what they're looking for, or maybe they do. But we believe great power lies within that city. The mortal spirits have long been seeking it. And now Bukhar is here ahead of us. Their ploy to take the cartouche may have failed, but I assure you they will blow through the city with hammers and sledges if it will get them what they want. We cannot allow that. This city holds the history of our people and the power we will need to make a new home for our kind. This is a great idea. How about you just put me and my men close enough and I'll put two arrows in her face? It's not an assassination mission. She's too well guarded for that. You need more arrows. We've sent someone ahead. A forward scout that we acquired from Clan Crowthu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a different clan, huh? Steven. Steven. Yeah, I'm a little mad. He says, He's the red eye one. Those were highly recommended to us. Her skin was oh. highly recommended oh. to us. Are... You would not have heard of her. Othe <laughs> yeah. is her name. Oh, <laughs> oh. I'm pissed. <laughs> I know, but I'm pissed. <laughs> we're gonna meet because I'm pissed at her. <laughs> yeah, th- this one will actually go over well. This not one, like, this one like will everyone. actually fall off. <laughs> it was ordained. He says, uh, oh he says, it's your new wife. Uh, yeah. Your job is to get into Vorga's camp, infiltrate the place, slow her progress so that she wastes time and manpower here while we bring to heal the rest of the clans to match her in open, honorable combat. Then, Pilfer the temple to recover the cart to, to recover uh, whatever's within. Anything the mortal spirits might use to the glory of a car. The legends hold that deep within the temple are ancient powers. Powers the elves crushed us into the ground in order to hide from us. Whatever's down there, it's powerful enough that the elves feared us. Powerful enough that Beorfe tore our people asunder. And powerful enough that we can use it to enact our will upon a world that refuses to see us as equals. The Akar clan will no longer bow to any other race. I put my hand against my chest and bow. Do the same. We bow now to no one. And he does the same. Uh, it's based off of Klingon. It's based off of Klingon. Right now you just bowed. Yeah, I mean like, I bow to my chieftain. Now that yeah, we bow, he's not bowing to you. He's yeah. just putting his hand on you. Oh, last time. Yeah. Right. Uh, okay. And uh, Zonag uh, turns around and he says, uh, I will also be sending with you the Shaman Burgug's successor. He will be able to advise you on matters of what is useful to us and what is not. He is one of the greatest shamans of our people. Zemek is oh. his name. <laughs> Why do I know that name? That's the, the dreamer. That's the dreamer. Oh. He killed him too. He killed him too. He walks a frail orc, not missing any eyes. Mm. <laughs> hasn't talked to. Yeah, it, hasn't talked it to that walks a frail orc, uh, leaning on a staff. He looks ancient. Uh, and as he enters, he says. I thank you for allowing me to join you. I promise I will not slow you down too much. I'm going to get a little close to uh, uh, Zonag and say, Are you sure? Because he's really frail. I can carry him. Do we really need to take this grape with us? I will carry him. Do you know the powers of the mortal spirits? Do you wield the black and white spirits? No, I wield this maul. I'm going to stop him since he's not in the car. (laughs) I'm going to turn around. Zonax pushes you aside and steps right up to you. You started it. You challenged me once before. Do you do so now again? Still can't steal his blood, huh? That did. You, you totally did. You totally, totally did. You almost got killed. <laughs> I mean, he was like, he was ready to call for his weapon. No, no is the answer. No, you will die. Good no job. is the answer. <laughs> he turns around and he says, uh, "The Gwarg and the Zagu 
flow and Uzebeka Kar. He is one of our mightiest <laughs> shamans. Though he looks frail, his mind is stronger than any sword or maul or spear. Under my breath, I say, no, I'll, I I'll do the the um, the the yeah. gesture and bow. But as I bow, I say, I'll believe that the raisin is powerful when I see it. And then I start to just kind of like back off. And then I hope you get the chance. As do I. That's what I said. <laughs> just but look at him. <laughs> yes, I hope. You did say. Uh, Garkul says, Ulthe has been ahead for the past two days. She's already infiltrated the camp. She's been scouting for us and has passed herself off as one of the Bakar. <laughs> She's a woman. She's probably dead by now. <laughs> you underestimate her. We'll find out. She's right here. No, she's not. But, but she is a lady. It's different. It's different. Different. Different, it's different lady. There's more than one lady. Well, let us talk. <laughs> and I hand him like a it's piece sexy. of like <laughs> like a piece of wood some crayons some crayons entertain yourself he starts drawing your bat <laughs> <laughs> so uh Garkul says uh you'll know her she's seeking you we gave her your descriptions before she left once you're in the camp make contact with her and she'll fill you in on the rest Get. Yeah. What's a secret call? There is no call. Oh, okay. Bukar would surely identify it if there were. Mm. Let's move. Okay. Move out. Uh, Zimic says, I am ready when you are. Oh, God. I can carry you if you want. No, that will not be necessary. Okay. Uh, and he, uh, he whispers something. Uh, to like into his staff, and you can see just this black fog swirling around him. And when it's done, he looks to be about the size of Red Eyes. Oh, so he's pretty big. Oh, dang, yeah. that was impressive. He says, "I can pass myself off as what I need." Good. Good. I don't want to waste any more time. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Well, Let's start making our way towards the encampment. Yeah, you mount up over the hill, uh, and it's yeah. Go ahead. As we leave, I want to turn to Hellhawk and be like, "That cry, that's that's really the cry you want to make, Hellhawk? Are you sure it's not like Hell Pigeon?" Oh, 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 oh. I do that in character. <laughs> <laughs> are we that's your friends? that's your secret cry. What are we not friends? I'm going to take note of that. I, I like where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> I will slit your throat. Okay. All right. Um, um, let's keep moving. All right. I'm going to take note of that for a few times. As you reach the peak <laughs> for of, the, future of arrow the rocky yeah. crag here, you can look down and you can see the city ruined and half buried beneath ash and Very dirt true. and rock. Thanks. Uh, long ago crushed between the war with the elves and the war with the dragons uh, in ancient times, before the days of man. You can see, as well, hundreds and hundreds of orcs, some Bukhar, some slaves, all working to unearth this great city. Big, huge excavation, basically? Oh, yeah. You can see all around, they have trained onkegs that are being used to dig out sections of wow. the city. I love one. You can see that they have they have huge cranes that they've constructed. They have hundreds of slaves with shovels and picks. What what race are these slaves? All are are various. Mostly orc. Still, okay. uh, there are a couple here and there that are human, and a couple here and there that are wood elves, but pretty much all orc. Okay. You don't have enough arrows. And it is still nighttime. I have an idea. Those slaves right there. Do the slaves look like they outnumber? I mean, there's definitely more slaves. Uh, there's about uh, two thirds slaves, one third Bukhar. Um, I tell my companions, um, let's use the slaves to our advantage. Tell them that if they roll with us, they will be a car and free. 
Well, if they help us. Oh. Oh. I should not talk to them. What do you? No. Yes. What do you think the slaves will be able to do for us? <laughs> to out. I don't. I don't know if we can tell them that they will be free and that they will be a car. They're just gonna think we're gonna take them as slaves for us instead. The yeah. cars don't have slaves. I didn't know that as a player, so yeah. There we go. They have at times, but uh, Calder uh, stopped taking slaves and started saying. Used to typically the orc practice is if you defeat a clan, their best join your clan, and that's like an honor, and the rest are taken as slaves. But Calder started just accepting all of their clans that he would defeat into a car, and then training them all to be worthy of a car. Gotcha. I think they value their freedom over their fear of their masters. I don't know. I just, I actually just shrug. Like, like in Seems character. risky. You know what they say. No bisky if you don't risky. What? <laughs> I've never heard that either. I can't back you up on that. <laughs> you wouldn't know. It's a famous Akar clan thing. I just look oh, at him. Man. I look at him like he is even stupider than him. No, I'm OG a car. Um, all right. Uh, you just how, said risky for the biscuit. He's literally more than twice as intelligent as I am. It's not oh, canon. It's cool. not canon. <laughs> um, it was in voice, so I don't know. I'm going to um, make the big man sit behind the hill so he's not seen. Okay. And I'm going to uh-huh. take... Note of guard watches. Okay. Roll me a perception check. Let's go, Rogue. See what you got. Oh, it's pretty good. 21. Thanks. There are a few guard towers set up here and there at the edges of the excavation site, but you can see several gaps where it would be easy to slip in if you were dis- to disguise yourselves as slaves. Mm, okay. Hmm. So, just, you know, real fast. What are you doing here? We're trying to infiltrate the city to undermine their efforts to excavate. And then so you undermine want to get their inside mind. the temple and get everything out from under them. Cool. Are, are there any slaves that are my size? Listening. There are a couple big ones. Okay. All right. Yeah. Good. Are there any with big old horns? There are a couple. Okay. Horns, All right. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't sure if they'd maybe file those down or anything Ooh. like that. Oh yeah. File what down? The, the horns. horns. Mm. Could act like you're a new slave. Um, I would I, like to. I, I didn't get that done yet. I don't know <laughs> where's I, the guy. I'm it's probably gonna wait expensive. for <laughs> like maybe like um, two roaming guards to come by, pop them, professional option. and take their <laughs> clothes. Easily, you're able to. Okay, cool. And, get uh, one of him. As you do, uh, you it just sails right, right into wait, their throats. So wait, they what did you do? <gasps> they kill some they guards. Just, oh, some guards. Kill some guards. Yeah, yeah, guards. Kill some slaves. Um, so <laughs> I'm gonna take. Guard outfit. Uh, I'm a hand one to you oh. and one to me. Okay. Rude. Um, it wouldn't fit. <laughs> I'm always the slave. <laughs> do you, what, um, do you, what are you? What are your I, I, I actually am. A also longbow often the slave. and um, a, a hunting first. knife. Uh, you need to use my short bow. Leave your longbow here. What? Okay. What do you have? My maul. Leave it here. What do you have? Uh, hold up. First, a warhammer. You can actually see, by the way, though, like like Garkul said, they are using sledges to break through several parts of the city. We're gonna, we're gonna grab some of those. I hold up first my warhammer and just look at you with it. Keep it. And I hold up several throwing hammers. No. <laughs> those down. And then I hold up the chain javelin that I have on one arm. Yes, give it to him. Oh. Um, well, he doesn't know how to use it. I I got you, buddy. All right. Yep. <laughs> okay. When, how does he even put this on? Yeah. You can keep those. <laughs> it just goes. Um, I'll just, you do it. Put on my back. Uh, <laughs> just like that. That's just not right. <laughs> do these slaves are they it's in chains or no? Uh no. Yeah. Uh, they do have. Sometimes it seems that they're like chained together when they are led back after their work shift. Okay. But uh, while they're on shift working. They unlatch them, and they just have uh, slave drivers watch them closely. All right. <clears throat> we have to do the talking. These are slaves we cut. I don't know, going to the bathroom or something. <laughs> <laughs> what did we say? Nothing. Nothing. Man. Absolutely nothing. I look at him, and I make sure we make He just grab the sides contact. of my face. <laughs> don't say 
anything at Unless all. I tell you to. Except for yes, sir. To anyone. For any for reason. For any reason. <laughs> <laughs> I start, I go, here, let me give you an example. Are you a slave? Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. That's okay. You can tell him yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who am I supposed to talk to? These two? Only. And it's only yes, sir. Let's go. But if uh, (laughs) I just start making my way down. Come on. Just be quiet. (laughs) Oh, no. No, (laughs) I got it. I got it. No, no, no. That was an intelligence check to see if I got the plan. That was a uh, four. <clears throat> I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, Don't say anything. Just be quiet. Once we get, let's go. Um, I guess the layout. Um, let's go to the least populated area in which slaves are working. Right. Uh, you get there and you can see that there's a couple slaves uh, that are that are getting to work, and they have two drivers that are sitting next to them uh, with whips and uh, and clubs. Mm-hmm. Uh, and one of the drivers looks to me and says. More slaves trying to escape. Not really escape, they were just on their bathroom break. Huh. You get one of those? <laughs> yeah, I... I try not to... He's pretty big for my size, so I try not to... Say anything I don't want to say. Because I don't really want to get beat up. What, are you afraid of the slaves? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't afraid of the slaves. Uh, you are a little small fellow, aren't you? Yeah, but I know how to use this well. Um, you said there's two guards, right? Two of them, yeah. How many? Uh, where else is? Is there anyone close to us? Uh, yeah. I mean, there's there's other shifts. Don't around. kill him. Um, or pull a weapon. I pull a weapon against his <laughs> gut. I said, "Well, I know how to use this, but it's only for my enemies." I flip it and put it back in. Like, I mean, dexterously, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like a gunslinger, <laughs> right? no. a knife slinger. Um, Whoops. you hear from behind you, <laughs> you look thirsty. And, I turn uh, around. As you turn around, there's an orc woman standing there, tattooed with the sigils of Bukhar. A pair of short swords slung one <laughs> on top of the other on one hip, and a cat of nine tails hanging from the other. <laughs> cat of nine tails. We are doing and have a drink. And she tosses you a canteen. Uh. Yeah. Or don't. I have a feeling this is her. Like, I think Hellhawk has a feeling this is her. Okay. So he looks at her in the eyes, doesn't even move, uh, like, stares at her while drinking the, all of the grog. Right, well, as you take the lid off, oh, yeah. oh. you notice there's a marking inside the cap, a tree growing from a planted spear. Mm-hmm. The sigil of a car. Is she beautiful? She is. <laughs> we unite. I don't know, roll a G10. <laughs> like, everything else goes blurry. Cut scene, like, cut scene, just oh zooms God. in on her wow. face. Oh, I was going to do it. Um, wow. Uh, she's, she's all right. Da, 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 drink <laughs> it, and then uh, screw the cat back on. How else can I say that? Oh, oh, well, well, Would she crush. know Thieves lady Can't? Crush. Anyways, in Thieves Can't, I say we are a car with the hand movements before I toss it. And one of the slave drivers looks to you and he says, What? Yeah, I figured that would be bad. She asked if you were thirsty. These two! And he draws his whip. Roll for initiative. Oh, oh sweet. Man. Yeah, I would have made sure no one else saw that. Nice! No. Shut your face. Uh, you know what? Level 7 is advantage on... Uh, nice. Mm-hmm. Advantage on thing for barbarians, right? Yep. So that's not me. Uh, <laughs> what are you? Six. Six and two? Oh, that's still pretty good. Six and two. What are your other two? Fire. Oh, right. Yeah. That action surge. That's pretty good. Could have could have delayed it. Could have had advantage. Oh, no, you you silly Billy. That's okay. It's okay. Because I got a 16 on the die, so I'm alright. I need to put in your you board games on here. So you're playing as Hellhawk. Mm-hmm. Hellhawk. <laughs> the Hawk from Hell. Instead of a steam, we have a rod burner. That's me. Instead of UI, we Waste have the Kuga. Beastmaster. Kuga. 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 Instead of Thaddeus. Wait, that one's not coming up again. That's not. <laughs> uh, we have uh, we have Tuga. Tuga. Manbreaker. Manbreaker. 
And instead of Bartoon. Good old red eyes. I don't have my, my companion anymore. Hmm. I lost that sheet of paper. Drips. Who needs it? Alright. So in that case, let's have Hellhawk. What'd you get? 19. Um, I don't think I can help you because I think it's a monster. It's Grog Burner. Grog Burner. Oh, uh, the 18, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Pay listen, attention! Listen to your... Beastmaster. That's me, 22. Oh, nice. Red Eyes, 20. I have a short bow. And Man Breaker. 17. I'm grab it. Nice. We're ready. Mm, we did all right. What did y'all get? 20 uh, for me. What? 17. We gotta nice. kill him. Wow, we're really actually well. really good at initiative. I've, I've we gotta kill him like initiative. super fast and super quiet. You don't have to tell me twice. You have to tell me twice. It well, might, I might not be. Kuga, quiet. you're up first. I'm gonna need some pretty explicit instruction. All right. <laughs> <Short bow. laughs> um, what how, what damage is a short bow? It is a D6. D6. Actually, no. If she goes first, I think we'll be alright. Uh, I'm gonna grab the short bow off of his back, okay. and I'm gonna shoot one of those guys between the eyeballs. Oh, maybe not. That's pretty oh, good, actually. Maybe. Uh, plus seven. So yeah, that's 19. 19? 19. Alright, you hit. Four. Six whole damage. Alright, taking a quick shot at him, he ducks down under the arrow as it clips him across oh, wait, the back. Wait, I get two. I get extra attack. All right. Oh, this one's not. Uh, 16. Nailed it. <clears throat> For 10 damage. Alright. Your second arrow plunges into one of his shoulders from behind, and that puts us at red eyes. Uh, I'm gonna look around quickly and see if I can find a mallet or one of the. Yeah, there's big a hammers. sledge right there that would count as a warhammer. Gonna grab it instantly. Right. Um, how much? Two what is the damage? Give me two handed. It's D10. Okay, so I'm going to two hand it, uh, and I'm going to charge <coughs> at, uh, I guess the guy that she wasn't shooting at just right. now, uh, and I am going to call him. Um, you are weak, and I will show you the might of the Akar. But not too Go long. Full garage. Um, scream on that one. Oh, sure. absolutely. How's 15? 15 on uh, Four, eight damage on the first attack. All right. And then after Jeez. cracking him across, I'm going to try and bring it down on his head again for much better um, for a 10 damage. All right, cool. Uh, so two massive cracks of the sledge, and uh, you slam into him just like you were cracking straight through sheer rock, uh, and it sends a shock of his entire body. Hellhawk. Uh, I'm gonna go after the one that uh, Haley hit. Uh, I'm gonna unsheath my sword and dagger, one across the throat, and then the dagger in the stomach. Okay. Deist the dagger, deist the short sword. Um, I missed entirely with my dagger, but my short sword twenty one. Twenty one. All right. Max yeah. damage at eleven. Right. And then you don't get sneak attack this time around. Oh, I do, cause we hit. Oh. You got a buddy. Ooh, oh, well, all right. <laughs> As he kept putting them down. Ooh. Wow. 17 extra to that. Ooh, nice. And that's the one that hit you, right? Yeah. All right, yeah. So you just walk up, and in one smooth motion, you unsheathe both weapons, and he drops to the ground. A slit across I'm his gonna... throat, and a knife in his gut. I'm going to turn to the one that I, uh, the one that you hit earlier yeah. uh, and say, you better grovel beneath the Akar clan. But, like, not too loud. This is a grog burn. Um, <laughs> but, like, not too loud. I'm going to approach similarly to the way he did, but I'm like, can you guys stop talking? <laughs> and draw both my weapons <laughs> and attack guys? twice. Does a, does a 14 hit? 14 hit. Okay, then they both hit for uh, a total of 17 <laughs> slashing damage. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, so unsheathing both into the other guy. <laughs> And two battle axes. I'm Good. walking forward and just bringing a fist down. But in my head, this is non-lethal. It's to make him sit down. Mechanically, definitely going for lethal. Yeah. And if he doesn't sit down, I'm doing it twice more because I've got a bonus action the next <laughs> uh, Okay. Well, the uh, the first one's de- well. Does a 13 hit? It will not. Okay. So only one is going to mm-hmm. hit, but it was the first one. So he's going to take. Nine damage. All right. Make a strength save. Well, as you oh. uh, as it seems, <laughs> you smash down into him. And uh, it kills him immediately. Everyone looks at the lady. Sorry. 
Alright. Well, that Ergerton. didn't go so well. Um, I'm going to pat him on the head. Good job. You see that Ulfe yeah. has yeah. already put an arrow in yeah. each of the six slaves that oh. were watching. Huh. And she says, Next time, maybe let's not be so blunt. I can't be sharp. Okay. Yeah, I don't <sighs> doubt that. Uh, but I'm going to let you keep the short bow for the rest of this encounter since you ditched your longbow. Um... Uh, I see. I sheath my swords and I say, "Well, you must be what's your name again?" Olfe. You must be Olfe. That's right. And let's see: Hellhawk, Rockburner, Red Eyes, Kuka Beastmaster, and you must be the one they call the Manbreaker. You're yes. Wrong. You're wrong by one. That's Red Eyes. That's Beastmaster. You are in her eyes. I'm just trying to mess with her. <laughs> no, I, I, she has the bat. Look at the bat. <laughs> the bat is literally like floating. floating. <laughs> That's correct. You are wrong about one. We're calling him Hell Pigeon now. <laughs> <laughs> Hell Pigeon. I like that name. There's a lot more you like. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to stop this before it goes down. Where is this coming from? Yeah. <laughs> just, well, he knows that she's the yeah. wife of the Yeah, she's my new wife. But I'm not going to play it as I know. Um, so, you know where we need to go? Yeah, I'll fill you in. Follow me. I'll fill the stuff, too. Uh, all right. <laughs> I don't say that. I don't say that. D20. D20 here. Fun family, family friendly. <laughs> all right. She leads you back to a, a uh, to one of the... Uh, camp areas where it's it's sort of it, it's one of the slave drivers tents but it's on the edge of their part of the encampment and closer to the slaves could we have buried those bodies in that area in which yeah, yeah, yeah we're getting rid of those yeah and she uh she the whole time over. i look very angry at him <laughs> she leads you over to this tent and leads you inside and within uh in the uh in the beds there are two other there are three beds in the tent and there are two other slave drivers asleep in two of the beds. Why are we in here? It's the safest place. There's no one to hear us talk here. What about those two? They won't be a problem. She pulls back the blanket Uh on one of them, and you can see that it's got, like, a wound on its right above the heart area, and then she covers it back. The love is starting to oh. I'm starting to go. Alright. Uh, what happened to that? Brief they're, us. They're dead, bud. I've been spying now since we arrived. Mm. We don't know what Vorg is looking for. Not exactly. I've heard rumors, though. It's something she calls the thing the dragons fled. The thing the dragons fled. This is very bad. Can I roll a history on that? Uh, uh sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna roll a history, but I won't be able to roll 17. it even if I ace it. Seventeen. I did yeah. not ace it. Uh, so you recall that uh, the stories of the War of Fire, which is what scorched Karasha Rook mm-hmm. and made it unlivable, barren ground for the most part, and eventually drove a wedge between uh, the elves and the orcs, was a war that was fought on two sides. The first side was the orcs, the elves, and the dwarves. And they were all fighting together against the other side, which was the dragons, which until that point had never been seen. Uh, They had appeared suddenly. Some say the dwarves delved too deep. (laughs) Others say it was only a matter of time. But the dragons seemed to erupt from the earth. Uh, they, they just started appearing from the deep places of the world and crawling and climbing their ways to the surface. Jeepers. Um, and suddenly they all arrived at once all across the world and started just completely conquering the surface. Trying to carve out a space for their own living. And so what is this thing that she's talking about? It was never in any source. Do you know what it is? Not at all. Show me where it is. We don't know yet, but I know that she suspects that it's within the temple. Is the temple near to us? It's not far. Is it the bath? The dragons, they have fire. Is it the bath? Do they Mm. fear? 
N- no, no, it's it's no, probably not the bath. I think it's a weapon. I think it's, it's just you that fears the bath. Swing a bath. <laughs> I can't fear that. Sorry about that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Companions. <laughs> she says, um, I know the people call fear Morchamon, particularly the slaves. There are stories that the old city is cursed by the mortal spirits that died there when it fell. I've been trying to spread those stories as much as possible. But right now... To get the slaves on our side? Either that, or to at least get them to stop digging. So she already has the same plan I thought. She says, uh... But for now, the slaves still fear the whips of their masters. More than old campfire tales. How about we just take those whips away from them? There's too many of them for that. But they do have some assets we could interfere with. Like what? They have with them two dozen on kegs, which are able to dig massive, massive pits each day. They're easily the quickest part of the excavation. If we can slow down the digging, we might find a way in. Especially since we have the cartouche. Can we make friends with him? I think so. We have a Beastmaster with us. We could use one for our advantage. We might be able to. It's possible. The safest way, obviously, though, would be to just kill all of them. If you want to try, you're more than welcome to. No. No. They're, they're animals of burden. They have to have them in cages or something when they're not doing anything. How hard could it be to kill a bug in a cage? By all means, go ahead. No! And then they'd be clued in that there's something wrong. Mm-hmm. It's okay, we're See, not gonna... everything is easy as killing something with. We're not going to kill him. No. It's okay. I let him be. It's okay. All right, let's make a plan. How about you, Red Eyes? What's your name? Grog burner. <laughs> Other guy. Anime. Anime. Anime boy. How about you three go and spread among the slaves? Us three, we'll go get an on cake. And do what with it? Disrupt things. Favorite food? Mm hmm. We'll teach it to fetch. No, we're gonna teach it to not do what its masters tell it to. And then fetch? But I, I wanna be the master. So we're gonna we're gonna change. Oh plan. my god! <laughs> Our plan is for the three Why of us. Why did I take y'all two? The plan is for the three of you us to mingle with slaves while you guys take one of the Ankets. What about the other twenty three? We will let them go and tell them to run away. Yeah, we'll do that scene where you just like let all the animals run free. Go on, get. Yeah. And I hate that's. You. And that's never better. Seen Jurassic Park two. And that's better. <laughs> and we'll let them know less that something is going on than us killing them. Uh, they're wild animals. They want to be wild, not enslaved. I could break the doors. This All is right. how nature works, Red Eyes. All right. They're... I I understand. <laughs> when I was in the cage, I broke the door and came out. I could break the door, and look like they came out. He's got a point. I, I think it'd be easier. Probably be easier for you guys to take Manbreaker than uh, for us to mingle him with slaves. What? I think. Um, I, yes, that's what I said. I, us. Three. I don't know if I can control him as much as you but guys you're can. You're taking her. We're taking. Him. Yeah, you're taking her. We're taking yeah. him. Great. I, I'm going. I'm going to see the 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 we're asset puppies. Great. Yeah, we're gonna play Sounds some good. some nice what do you think very about large it? puppies. It might work. Anything we can do to slow it down. And then, tomorrow night, we find our way in. Sounds good. All right. Ready? Break. (laughs) What do we break? Nothing. (laughs) And what about him? And uh, she gestures to Zimic, who's standing there as well. Oh, snap! I forgot about him! (laughs) Um, What can you do, Zimic? Zimic says... My role in this will come once we are within the temple. Okay, but... I can wait here. Oh, oh okay. Sounds you don't want to come with me? Easy. Nice. Go sit down over there. Um, can you hide? Could you... He'll be plenty hidden here. Could you okay. maybe bless us before we go? Yeah, you got any gifts? 
You I will waste sleep. none of my powers yet. The black and the white are always with us anyway. You got a point. Um, yeah, I think... What? Do we want to go at dawn or do we want to go now? <laughs> Gentle yeah, the book. Yeah. Do we want to go now or at dawn? I don't know. That I think one... it'd be harder for us at dawn. Us three would be harder for us comparative to y'all three. If y'all during dawn I go mean, and spread during the if day. If we're going to be intermingling with slaves and stuff, they're probably... Working day and night. Would they be well, working we day and night? We did, or or during the yeah. day and the night. We did kill so. two night shifts, so we should probably replace one of them. So That's true. y'all should be replaced. So right now. So we should go... Yeah. Around. So Sounds let's... Uh, the the crew that we took out. How about you guys replace that crew, and we'll go after the young gags right now. Mm. All right. Come with me. Come, be ma- beast master. I need your help. Goodbye. All right. Oh. But who wants to go first? We'll go first. Okay. Uh, Spin the party again. Yeah. yeah. Right. Woohoo! We always it worked do that. out real well for us last time. It's a that's a, a really good plan in my opinion. Um. Yeah, well, you died last time. All the time. And so did I. Um, I oh, no! I'm on the wrong team! <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not hey, happy. Hey, hey, last time he, Grant was in your spot, and he survived. And I survived. Yeah, the okay. middle chair is fine. Okay, okay. I see his end um, chairs. I'm gonna, in fact, I was the only one up, so you're going to be, like, totally fine. I'm going to scope for guard towers near the on-keg cages, if there are any, or if... High points in which the Beastmaster can can so, be upon. As you search the camp, you see that there's actually not any cages. Hmm. There's just a cave that outside of which is a yurt set up. Okay. What, what's that? It's, a a, yurt it's like, a, like tent, a large tent. Really large tent. Um, I'm gonna approach the back side of the yurt. Put my ear up, uh, ear up against the canvas. See if I hear anything. You hear snoring. Perfect. Sleeping. Um, um, is the yurt too tight for me to get under it? Uh, not really. You can pull out a stake and slip under. Oh, um, is the backside facing towards a wall? Like, facing towards the cave? Kind of, yeah. Then I'm gonna grab my dagger. Okay. Um, put it in as softly as I can. And just... <laughs> Cutting paper here. <laughs> is there an individual snoring? There is. You see a a witch lying on one of the beds. Excuse me? A witch? Go, go. They use the black What's your stealth? You should sneak in there. It's like like black. And slice your throat. I'm going, yeah, I'm going to come in and I gesture for you guys to stay there. Look around, make sure it's not illusion. I'm going to look around. Is there any? Is, does it just look like a normal tent to me? And there's a person sleeping. Oh yeah, it's just red. It's just an orc woman sleeping. You, the only way you know she's a witch I mean, is by the uh, ceremonial garb that is uh, is hanging from a sort of um, clothing stand. I'm gonna percept the room. <laughs> All right. It's intelligence, isn't it? Fifteen. Mm-hmm. Okay. Looking around, you can see that it looks like there is another clothing stand in this room. Uh, and you could, uh, you could probably assume that this is not just the witch's tent, that there's someone else who stays in this tent as well. Uh, you can also see that there are more um, ceremonial objects and things like that in this tent. Um, I'm going to roll stealth. Okay. If there's one more person, you probably shouldn't kill them. That's Ooh, pretty good. Wow, Man, stuff. I'm rolling tight today. Um, 20. Now you've jinxed it. 20? Yeah. All right. Oh, I got a plus 2 to stealth. I got a plus 4 to stealth. I rolled That's a 16. It? Oh, I thought it was 18. Huh? You, you don't have any more to My stealth? My dex is 16, or 18. Mine's 18. So you're not proficient in stealth? I'm not. I'm yeah. proficient in acrobatics and thieves tool. Oh, I am proficient. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, okay, so yeah, I got a 24. That's weird. Plus 7. What? Right. Um, Not every rogue is, but... Or 23. Because proficiency bonus right now is 3, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I got a 23. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Oh, shnikes. Um, And you said there is a closet, correct? No, not a closet, just like a clothing stand. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to head over to the witch um, and place my short sword in its throat. All right. (laughs) Was it an actual person? Uh, yeah, you kill her. 
Cool, sweet. Um, I'm going to did exactly like um, Waifu did. I'm going to turn on the side, <laughs> put the blanket on. Right. Oh, um, then I'm going to gesture for these individuals that come in. Uh, well, there was only one person here, but there might be another person, so keep guard, Manbreaker. Okay. Who am I watching? Anyone not, that not is in us three. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have said anyone. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, you probably, you probably should have. Uh, um, do I take note of anything in the Definitely the should. yurt that could help us with the on kegs or the mission at hand? It does seem that they have some various, like, uh, bits of feed and stuff in here. Oh, take um, it. Yeah, immediately yeah. hand it to these minister. Um, I'm going to take any magical paraphernalia that the witch might use for Simic later, because I don't know how magic works, so... Okay. So just, like, any of her ceremonial Basically. stuff? Basically. Cool. Yeah. This could be useful for Zemic. I put it in my bag. Um, then I'm going to make my way out of the tent and towards the cave. All right. Um, well, Beastmaster, time to use you. I'm going to go in the cave. Yep. Yeah, let's go. I'm going to sneak in the cave. All right. As you go in, there are 16 Ankegs sleeping. Oh, my God. Are they so Lord cute? have mercy. No. Uh-huh. They're so cute. They're so cute. Hillhawk is really not I enjoying so. this because he doesn't like They're animals. They're giant bug things. Do you remember those things that we They're fought so in the awesome. cave before so. the uh, the sleeper fight? No, those... Those are Rimorazes. 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 Yeah. Okay, much nicer. Uh, but we did, we did fight on kegs at some point, just after the orc patrol. Right. Okay. Right. Mm. I'm going to decide I think they're cute. They're cute. Uh, I'm going to hold out the feed, you know. Maybe yeah. they smell it. Any reaction? They're all sleeping. I know, but it smells good. Have you ever put, like, food next to a sleeping dog? Instant. Well, it's the sound. Well, then I'll make sound with it. Oh, <laughs> <Make laughs> sound. sound. Rustle, whatever. What am I feeding them? All right. Like One hay of the... or something? No. 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 Fingers. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's like meat. Ah, cool. No. It's like chop. I'll jiggle the... Chow. I'm gonna jiggle the meat. All right. I'm gonna One jiggle the chow. Kind of opens its eyes and looks <laughs> over at you and lays its head back down. You don't want any? Oh, that's so sad. I'm gonna like, I did a little on keg. I'm gonna grab the man breaker, seeing as how he could be very uh, influential against us. I'm going to grab him and pull him back towards me All right. and let the beast smack. I'm gonna slosh it. Let her do it. I'm gonna slosh it on the ground. It looks at it. And then lays its head back down. Really? Yeah. Wow, this is a roll me an animal handling check. Seems like they're all fed. Can I assist somehow? Assist. Uh, not really. Yeah, I don't know how I could. could. Could we also 14? roll to see if we know this thing? Well, aren't you on watch? No, no, I'm, he I'm, came with I'm us. I, yeah, oh, someone yeah, should be on with. watch. I will. Fine, I will stand oh, at the mouth of the cave. Yeah. Manbreaker, you and I stand at the okay, mouth. Okay. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> looking at. Uh, I also got a fourteen. It's. Very much, but you don't have animal handling as a skill. No. Then yeah. So, uh, looking at these creatures, they should just go for their food. You know that onkegs are typically just if they see food, they're going to eat it because they don't know when their next meal is going to be. Mm. Um, and that's their natural state. So they have to be very, very well trained to ignore and food when it's placed right in front of them. Crap. How's it going, Beastmaster? I really want to pet it. I don't recommend that. You also know that none of the Beastmasters of a car have ever managed to train an onkeg that well. That's not good. Beastmaster, I'm sorry to... What happens if I get close to it? Not Let's too close. Find just out. like step Bite closer. off your foot. All right. It just uh, it, it kind of moves, wakes up, looks at you, and then lays its head back down. But does it seem aggressive? No. Not in the least. I immediately turn around and grab the Beastmaster. It doesn't know whether we're its masters or not. I want to touch it. Let's take advantage of that. So I can touch it? You can ride it. Do they have saddles? No. Dang it. Do they have chains? Do they have leads? How do they... Well, uh, each has two of the following. Okay. I'm ready. Uh, in various combinations. A cistern, which could carry a large supply of drinking water. Oh, okay. A head bore, which is a sort of sharpened metal tool to increase its burrow speed. A lantern, uh, complete with a mirror built to sit on the beast's back <laughs> that can project a narrow beam or a circular one. A plow, 
which allows the beast to displace huge amounts of mud and, uh, and stone. Uh, a storage bin, which allows the beast to haul stone and rubble. And tow cables, which enable it to haul equipment. What are the carrying stuff made out of? Like the one for water and the one... Mostly wood, uh, but it's like petrified wood. So I couldn't poke holes in it? Try not easily. Okay. I think what we should do is wake them up and lead them outside of the encampment. But they're sleeping. I know. I don't know if they'll go for that. We don't know until we try. Let's try one before we try all of them. Let's try one. (laughs) Seems like a better I whistle to the closest one to me, and uh, I grab it by its... Uh, Gentle, uh, gentle. I guess... We should do this. Thorax. I want to grab it by its thorax as if to, like, let's go. Come on. Alright. It resists and pulls against you. (laughs) Get up now. It resists. I'm going to pat a different one on its head. Okay. Nice and gentle. Sort of wake it up so it's looking at me. Okay. And uh, I'm going to gesture towards some of the equipment. Like, I'm going to put this on you. It's ready. Let's go. Okay. See what happens. Animal handling. Alright, roll an animal handling. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. 17 plus 5. 22. So 22. Well, while not, the cars have never managed to train an Ankeg this well, they have trained them. And uh, you've followed every step of the book, every proper procedure. By all rights, this creature should be listening to you. But it just resists to lay back down. Beastmaster, mm, you remember what gone. the slaves had? No. Whips. Oh, that seems bad. No. Let's get them. No, I think um, no. Is there is there an area where no. lip whips are located no. at the front just, of the cave? Sh- 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 I think that there might no be a magic magical. involved. Yeah. Or they have a really good bond. I point to my bat. I bet the witch is controlling them. That he just killed. I think we need to kill him. I don't think we can kill them all by ourselves. Well, no, but we could kill quite a few before they wake up. Could we? We have to. Oh, that makes me sad. No. Do you want our people to die? I don't want anyone to die. Well, in this case, someone has to. No. Do you want to die? Do you want Beastmaster to die? No. Then we have to kill the Oncakes. And with that, we'll cut to the other guys. Okay, well, we're just uh, putting him in with the slaves, and me and uh, Lady York probably just walking around. Oh, do you think the only slave in there? That's what I learned. He has no particular concept of his own mortality. She says, uh, So, how do we want to do this? Uh, well, well I'm, I'm really not the uh, strategist <laughs> for our crew. Um, really hoping you had a better idea. About that. <laughs> um, she says, a few, a few. We could try to spread tales, stories of the curse of the mortal spirits. <laughs> oh, I can do that. We might find, uh, we might find some slaves willing to listen to us. Oh, there you go. Alternatively. <laughs> You're literally just I a know. tiny head over the <laughs> laptop. Alternatively. <laughs> We could try to somehow blockade the supply trail that leads through the crags up there. It might slow them down. Mm-hmm. Uh, looking around, uh, she says, or those pulleys there. And she points over to the, like, the main excavation site, and you see several mobile pulleys that are being pulled by a group of onkegs. Um, she says we might be able to tamper with them while no one's watching. That would slow them down for sure. Right. One last option. You said you've been here for a while, right? A few days. How broken are these slaves? How likely would they be to incite rebellion if we were to, you know, spread a little encouragement? Most of these slaves have been with Bukar for a very long time. They fear Bukar more than they fear Akar. Right. Right. Hmm. I f- 
feel like, <clears throat> especially if that's the case, spreading the tales might not be so influential. So I think we should probably just physically mess with stuff and make it harder for them. I don't know. I think spreading tales would help. I, so? Yeah, I mean, if they're they don't necessarily have to be afraid of a car to think that a car might come and make their lives a little different. Maybe free them. Yeah. Oh well, you know, maybe. We just talk near some slaves about how the Akar are coming across the horizon. You know, they don't keep slaves. A bunch of weirdos. They just let everybody into their, <laughs> yeah. into their yeah. plan. And they all have, like, cookies. <laughs> and, they, <laughs> and they have dance parties. <laughs> There's, like, a weekly ice cream yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ice cream. So if you don't. lose the battle, they just, like, give everyone free stuff. <laughs> they just give you candy. <laughs> you might as well just surrender immediately whenever the Akar show up. They fight really hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if we can make it through. I don't know. I don't know. They've just got they've got so many single ladies. Yeah, just so <laughs> many hot work chicks. <laughs> yep. Yep. One of them has a bat. I don't know about is that. Is this actually is this actually helping? Like are the slaves paying attention to the bat? <laughs> None of this is that. Oh, okay. This is actually right. this is yeah. just for, <laughs> for funsies. But you should do that. I was like, is this really yeah. working? Why don't but we, we should definitely physically do things. We do, do that. that. We actually do that. I'm not there, so I didn't participate. I, I mean, you're still dressed as a slave, right? Probably yeah. not do that with you. Yeah. Well, he right. also doesn't like you very much. Yeah. So yeah, y'all really don't like each other. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, you really don't like the Akar. Yeah, I was, I was talking about... He likes a car. He's part of a car. Yeah, he was he absorbed just, into he it. like him. Is he, though? Yeah, he yeah. just doesn't like him. He's talked back to the Chieftain twice now. Well, he's not super wise. He's just, you know... I'm just angry <laughs> at yeah, everyone. Yeah, I, I was more talking like I'd be talking with uh, the uh, informant here. Ah, uh, that makes sense. About that? Yeah, while occasionally whipping you for the sake of it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, bet that's bringing him <laughs> much joy. Oh, is that so? <laughs> Ulfie says, that's a good plan. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pull your fingers off. Just one <laughs> Right on. All right. Then yeah, so we'll do that. Uh, so loudly as you approach uh, <laughs> some other slave drivers, he says, "And all of that's true." I wouldn't lie to you. And those, they're coming across the plains here real fast. Well, if they were here, surely we'd know about them. Have you looked over the hills? I I guess not. And you see two orcs, the other slave drivers come up and one of them says, "What's over there?" They say the Akar clan is making its way over here. <laughs> the Akars! Let them come. We'll cut them down. Have Vorg you... is a much stronger chieftain than, than Zodan could ever be. Now in Calder's day, maybe. I don't know. Have you looked over the hills? No. There aren't numbers high enough to explain their... Socks. I only count to 12. <laughs> there are several D12s. Worth. There are at least 12. <laughs> it's, it's, you're not wrong. <laughs> he says, uh, he says, how oh, many? I couldn't even tell you. Do, do I only got a glimpse. Uh, I mean, it, it, it grows like every day. Yeah, it's a lot. They say they've been growing every day. <laughs> <laughs> God told me. Well, why isn't Vorga doing anything about it? I... Look, this is between you and me, all right? Yeah, of course, yeah. Guy I just met. <laughs> I think Borg is a little spooked. Yeah? <laughs> just because the Akars have been increasing in size so fast, and they've been coming right here. That would explain why she wants this dig done so fast. Whatever she's after. She said it would help us against the Akars. I think the Akars know that too. And they're here to get it first? When they're rushing. And I hear they're the Akars have a better plan than we do. Oh yeah? Yeah. Says old thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she says, uh, I've heard that they know exactly where the thing the dragons fled is hidden. Whoa. Whoa. I've even heard they know what it is. The other orcs both look to one another and one of them says, 
There you go, what it is. What? She says, I don't know. I guess if I did, I'd have to be in a car. Man, well, maybe... Nah, no. What? What is it? Ah, well... Tell me <laughs> <I> know. <laughs> I know if they're gonna attack... You see him kind of <laughs> looking up to kind of listen into the conversation. Yeah. Hey, hey! <laughs> Get back to work! <laughs> Am I just, like, working away at a wall with, yeah. the, with the thing? Basically... Do I take damage? <laughs> okay. No. It just hurts. I'm, I'm he just whips it right just, next oh, to you. Oh, all right. All right. No. I'll take note of that. I'll take note of that. I mean, that's, you know, we don't, I don't want to, you know, <laughs> kill a slave. Take, if you kill a slave, you can't do anything. I, I have 90 <laughs> health. I don't know if you're going to kill me with a whip. <laughs> yeah, probably not. 90 health? I have 90 health. I've got almost. We're barbarians. We I have, I have, I'm a barbarian with a plus four con mod. Whatever. I'm oh. someone who gets in, kills, then gets out. <laughs> if they're going to attack, and they've been absorbing... All the clans they fight. Maybe we could find out. What do you mean? I mean, look, this is just between us. No, no. <laughs> crazy. I love it. What? <laughs> <laughs> if the Akara are as powerful as they sound like, maybe we'd be better off with them. No, I knew it's stupid. That doesn't make any sense. You're We've right. got all these slaves. <laughs> Idiot. Our slaves will form a meat shield. If they come in, we'll just shove the slaves in front of us and hurl rocks at them from behind. Do the slaves hear that? Yeah. Yeah, they know. <laughs> They're probably super bummed, but, you know, <laughs> whips and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you know they get card. They got a thing about slaves, too. Yeah? What, do they just kill them on sight? <laughs> Quite the opposite. The Akar just let their slaves into the clan. That's ridiculous. I know. A warrior should have to prove himself worthy to join a clan. Right? Quick look up with hope shining in your <laughs> I eyes. I kind of, I kind of, um, I don't oh, know if they, do they may not notice, ladies? but as he says that, my grip on the, uh, on the mall kind of tightens a lot. Like... Mm, prove myself. Mm. <laughs> are, you, are you looking at the other slaves, or are the slaves? Being yeah, I'll, I'll be. I'll be looking around the, at the other slaves. No, some of them are kind of looking at you. Some of them look up that direction towards them. I don't want to be giving these slaves too many fancy ideas. They might think to you know switch sides. If they're gonna get freedom, there's no freedom with a car. Only weakness. And he turns around and he whips a crack across the back of every slave present. Oh. Yeah! yeah. 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 <laughs> you do well to remember that. You do all the You're work. You're more free here than you'd ever be as a weak servant of a car. Much better here when I hit you with this whip <laughs> and you're not allowed to go home. I want to make... Um, I don't pay you. And you don't get bathroom breaks. I'm going to make a reckless attack... <laughs> to like do a wall? gigantic hit against the wall as oh, it hits me. Okay. okay. <laughs> wow. I rolled two threes. Oh, Three okay. on both. So I don't do anything. It okay. says, if you learn to hit a little bit harder than that, uh -oh. then maybe you'll prove yourself worthy of being mm -hmm. a Bukha. Uh -oh. Punch him! Punch him! Punch him! No, but don't act. <laughs> Stop it. I don't do anything. All right. <laughs> if well, I, if I had rolled a four, I don't know it's gonna. Um, I unsheath my uh, scimitar-looking sword. Wait. As I move towards the on keg. I get in your way. Maybe we can um, mess with the things I, instead of them. I fling my sword up against Manbreaker's Ooh. neck, and say, "Manbreaker, remember the one who allowed you in a car. It was me. Move aside." I've been in lots of clans. And I'm going to keep you in this clan because you're worthy of honor. But I don't want things to die. All right, Boar. I'm not going to kill it. What? I'm not going to kill it. Do you promise? I promise. He <laughs> <laughs> <I> just... <laughs> he laughs in character as he says that. Okay. <laughs> I move him on side. Uh, I climb on top of the on keg. Um... Uh, the strap that's keeping the sat like this, uh, the saddlebags on each side. I'm gonna go ahead and just whoosh, 
the remove the saddlebag from it. Uh, grab its plate that's attached to the front. Uh, remove, I guess, the screws that are attached to it. Remove the plate helmet um, to where it's basically a bear on keg. Okay. Um, Does then, it look happy? It doesn't react at all. Uh, I'm going to attempt to wake it up and say, You're free. You are no Close. longer under control. Oh my god, I want to slaughter these things. <laughs> um, I like to see well, how about now, Beastmaster? I mean, we can just slow them down a little bit and destroy all the stuff. They That's couldn't a good carry idea. stuff without this stuff. Um, I get, how long would it take to remove <laughs> all of the on kick sal bags? At most, and, maybe 10 minutes. Let's do that. All right, let's so. remove it all. Um, you know, that means it'll take maybe twice that long to put them back on. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to break them. We're going to break it. Yeah, we're breaking oh, them. breaking them. Oh, we're we're wood, shattering them. That stuff's not everywhere. Yeah, the heat. Manbreaker can go through petrified it wood. It is in, uh, in Karasha Rook. Um, All the wood is petrified. To like shape it, maybe it would take a little bit. That's true. Uh, I guess I get it in a pile and I look at your Warhammer and say, Break. Okay. I'm going to stand at the <laughs> mouth of the pile. cave uh, yeah. with... Uh, I'm like pause in mid swing, and then the hammer just drops out of my hand as I try to process stealth. break, but quietly. <laughs> you can do it. You're smart. I said break, but quietly. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> run into the um, the shaman's yurt that's right there and grab an armful of clothing, and then I run back and throw it onto the pile of petrified wood. And then proceed to beat the hell out of it. He's problem solving. It's good. Yeah. He's growing. It's still incredibly low. Yeah. <laughs> I had a feeling. I May rolled, I roll a stealth? Well, change? I rolled. Uh, a, he tried. I rolled a twenty-six for stealth <laughs> at the front of, at the mouth of the cave. Like, do you and, want me to roll? Uh, it, it's not like ringing over the camp. Oh, okay. it's, just it's just loud in this area. Yeah. I just wanted to stealth, just good in job. case anyone was going to come. Uh, no one approaches. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> um, do we do we want to? <laughs> Bury it, remove it. What do we want to do? Oh no! Hmm. I'm gonna put it at the mouth of the cave. Okay. Why? And in the sand, I'm gonna write a car was here. No, I'm gonna erase it. <laughs> was W U Z. You draw a little Actually, guy no. like this with I'm his gonna... nose peeking over the yeah. wall. And this, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, and then one of those S's. It's all uh, I'm, I'm gonna write a. <laughs> uh, uh, don't target us. They don't know it's us. I don't if you write a car was here, it is. Well, no, they'll no. know that there are a car. They know well, they're cars that are so. sabotaging. They don't know it's us. Yeah, but so, we're new. Yeah, but I don't know I'm gonna put uh, in the sand. I'm gonna put. Um, uh, <laughs> Just put back. Uh, maybe you got bored. What's right what's here? like a? You're being hunted. But I wanna. Eh, I would have put a car is watching. Okay. Just do the, the, the Skyrim thing with the black hand, and then we know. We know. <laughs> a car well, draw, is draw a sigil of the, the tree. With yeah, the I'm going to draw a sigil of the tree with this period. All right. Um, or do you make it out of the I rubble? do make yes. it out of the rubble right. um, in the sand. Right. Uh, I try to help. Then I, very helpful. I'm going to go back to the tent that uh, we were eventually right. waiting hey, for them. Hey, question. Okay, this is uh, stealing this from TV. We, we sent a took slaves. The car took slaves, right? And the now they are free. Right. Do we have anything from them that might symbolize that slaves? It's been a, a quite a while because it was Calder who freed the slaves. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we we he's got the he has got the title of chain breaker, breaker of chains. Um, is it both? Calder, chain breaker, breaker of chains. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> some, some some doofus man. Um, I get yeah. Man well, Breaker came up with the titles in those. Days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess we should just go Change back to the no tent chains. and uh-huh. wait for their wait for them yeah. to meet us back. All right. I'm gonna That's pet nice. one of the things before we leave. Okay. Oh my god. I just right. I wanted to pet one. Can I pet it? Sure. I rub its belly. All right. So I'm gonna not go try to stand out, but at any point, whenever yeah. they maybe wander oh, off a little bit farther away, away or anything, I'm going to try to start talking to the slaves, but okay. for and now, when they're near, I'm not going to really do uh-huh. it. We're just going to repeat that exact same conversation <laughs> with, like, scattered maybe later. other right. groups. Sounds good. Yeah. And any any chances I get, I'm going to kind of um, talk to the slaves as another slave and kind of do the same thing, but, like, from a different perspective. Sure, of, like, yeah. 
hey, I hear the I hear the Akar are coming, and they don't even take slaves. Okay. Yeah. You should join I'll, them. I'll, I'll, I'll almost sucks. make some slight variations where instead of saying, like, between you and me, I'll say, start saying, like, I heard some others talking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Okay. Shifting that blame a little bit. I'm going to go potty. All right. Uh, eventually, you all meet out back at the yard. And as you walk I in... Know. My love is here. <laughs> <laughs> as you the walk in... will wait. Yes. Allface says, uh, how did it go with the Ankegs? It's pretty good. They're actually extremely well-trained. Uh, more... We broke the pot. Well, more trained than maybe. our Ankegs, but... I broke them. We removed all of their utensils. And broke them. And Good. shattered them. Well, we had some success. A lot of people heard us talking. Some of the slaves are interested in a car. Unfortunately, Grogburner did mention that a car was here, so that means that we have to act now. Oh. Now. Whoops. <laughs> I had a feeling as soon as you said it, yeah. The yeah. day will be slowed down by a day or two for sure. We've done our jobs. That'll give us enough time to get in and get out. We did mark the uncave enclave with our sigil. No, it's his idea. I don't know. Right. <laughs> then we shouldn't even wait till morning. I agree. Let's head to the temple and get inside. Move, move, move. Let's get I'm the old dude. Oh, yeah, Zemek's Zemek. right there. Yeah, he's coming with us. Let's yeah. go, Zemek. He's just been in the background all the time. It's fine. Yeah. He says, uh, all right, if you're ready. Yeah. Stance. Uh, is he, is he ready? a frail guy? He is again. But then as you get ready to leave the, the yurt. It's like, all right then. He uh, uh, and he switches. Um, I'm going to grab, while we're, while, we're, Spirits with us, uh, while we're going through weaving to get to the right. temple, I, I'm going to grab, yeah, if like there is a, a free whip the on the way there, I'd love to grab one. Okay. Um, because I love whips. Right. Um, so yeah, I'm going to head straight to the temple. All right. Do I have my chain javelin back now? Sure. Sorry, what? Can I have my, my javelin back? He's got it. Let's drop it back. Right? As you get to the you temple... You don't see how I do it. It just kind of works. You can see ow, ow, ow. that uh, that there's only one entrance that's been excavated, and it's sealed by a heavy stone door. Where is the uh, Queen Mother's uh, area <laughs> comparative to where we are currently? The Queen Mother? Yes, ma'am. She Sorry. is very <laughs> near to the temple, since that is kind of the main area of excavation. Um, I stop. What's your name? I keep wanting to say Orphan or something? Olfe? Olfe, 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 Olfe. Olfe. That's uh, clan mother's yurt right there. She probably knows that. Yeah, that's right. Should we take her out before we go into the temple? I'd say that would be a bad idea. Good idea. <laughs> She's matched Zonak in single combat before. Oh. Uh, I look at Manbreaker like, <clears throat> no, let's go. <laughs> let's continue on our way. I'm like, I'm like halfway to getting a hammer. Man, Manbreaker would make Zemic prob- I mean, Zona look like a toothpick. No. Um, yeah, let's. I guess let's. Oh, if I if I like beat her and come one on one would, would look bad. Yeah, it would yeah. be it'd be brutal. You also would not beat her. No. <laughs> oh, you would. Oh. Yeah. Like like I said, she's gone toe to toe with Zona. But I thought Zoneg was smaller than Manbreaker. Smaller? Everyone yeah. is smaller Yeah, but not worse than yeah. me. That's true. Yeah, it's probably real good. Uh, 20th level fight. Do we need to roll stealth coming into... You will. Okay. Which one's the... We can do that. Any of them? None of us were over. It's fine. Right? That's a nat 20. Wow, well, boy. No. Go 12. That's probably not terrible. Oh, whoa. That's... I got a crit and we'll a that. That's We'll say that. That's not bad. 16, not bad. That's fine. 22? 20. 20. Dang. Yeah, Tohawk said to be quiet. All right. That's yeah. enough. Total 12. Because nice. it was a group check. Everybody else passed. <gasps> nice. Good lord. Um, Did I not pass? You were very close. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Ulthe takes you up towards the front, and she says, All right. Zemek, you've got the cartouche? He says, Yes, I do. And he pulls it out. Um, and he starts reading over the runes in the cartouche and mashing them to runes on the door. And as he sees, he whispers prayers to the white and black spirits as he touches several runes, and a few of them start to dimly glow as he touches each. And the big stone block rises slowly. 
Old Face says, Good. Then you'll head inside. I'm going to report back to Zonak and Garku. <laughs> what? He's ditching us? She. Old Face. What? She's going to tell him that we're doing good. Okay. Relatively. I, uh. <laughs> I check her butt out as she leaves. Bye, <laughs> baby. Be safe. Can I smack Don't him? Don't die. Shh. Okay. Can I smack him? Sure. Can I smack you? What? She's hot. I mean, I rolled a 10, so yeah, she's a 10. She's hot. <laughs> what happened to seething? I am. Yeah. In my loins. <laughs> uh, I'm going to enter the tomb. We can save your loins. <laughs> uh, I'm entering the tomb. I'm entering the tomb. Is what? Without I enter the tomb. And we're going to go ahead that. and take our intermission there. We're a little bit early, but we're going to take it there. So at 7.44, we'll be back. 7.45, just call it an even number.